A few weeks back, China Eastern, the Shanghai-based Chinese carrier, made headlines with the announcement of the formation of a new airline venture, Sanya International Airlines. The new joint venture will be in cooperation with Junyao Airlines, its subsidiary, along with other Hainan-based and Chinese firms, with the intention to serve the island, which has become known as China's Hawaii, a preferred destination for mainland Chinese visitors. The new airline is part of an overall strategy to develop the island as a tourist destination, not just for mainland Chinese tourists, but also those from abroad. Strategically, from the Chinese government point of view, it is part of the overall Belt and Road Initiative to develop the island as an economic hub. So for that reason, Hainan is a part of a new series to highlight some of the emerging or developed destinations and plans to build up more aviation and travel demand to and from there, which I will simply call the Destination Development Series. Located along China's southeastern coast, Hainan Island just lies south of the mainland of China, directly north of the disputed islands of the South China Sea. With a land area of around 35,000 square kilometers, it is comparable in size to Belgium as well as to Taiwan. The southernmost province of China has two main cities, the city of Haiku, the capital, located on the northeastern part of the island, which has a nickname of being the Coconut City, as along with being the administrative capital of the province, it also exports agricultural goods. Then there's Sanya on the southern part of the island, which hosts the beach resorts for tourists looking to hang out at the beach or to explore the natural and scenic attractions. This island has been known as China's Hawaii for the right reasons, as it has been reported by local authorities that the island in 2018 welcomed around 76 million visitors, mostly from mainland China. Though the island is accessible via cruises and yachts, the vast majority of travelers will likely pass through either of the three main airports serving the island. The first airport is the Haiku Meilan Airport, which is the busiest in the island and the 17th busiest overall in China in 2019 when it served around 24 million passengers. Serving as the main base for Hainan Airlines, the HNA Group Airline, it also happens to be recognized as one of the best airports in China, being one of the two Skytrax five-star airports in the country along with Shanghai's Kongqiao Airport. Along with Haiku's airport is Sanya Phoenix, which served around 20 million passengers in 2019. Along with being served by Chinese carriers on domestic flights, there is a good number of international flights from Chinese and foreign carriers. The third major airport is Boao, which opened in 2016, primarily serving domestic flights on a much smaller scale compared to Haiku and Sanya. The last two decades has seen exponential growth in terms of tourist arrival numbers to the island. And recently, in line with the announcement of Sanya International Airlines, the Chinese central government has announced plans to develop the Hainan Island as a free trade port zone to go along with efforts to continue the development of the island's tourism industry well into 2050. Prior to this announcement, there has been steps taken to boost the local economy through tourism and develop the aviation infrastructure. In 2018, the Chinese government announced a visa waiver for citizens of 59 countries for a 30-day visa-free stay in Hainan Island. Haiku Airport is also set to open up a new extension of the airport, Terminal 2, later this year, covering an area of over 290,000 square meters. The ADPI design terminal is expected to boost the capacity of the airport by 18 million passengers per year. The other major airport development that is set to begin soon is the development of the new Sanya Airport set to be built offshore along Hongtang Bay which is closer to the hotels and resort areas. The new airport has been named the Sanya Hongtang Wan Airport with a subsidiary owned by Hainan Airlines leading the effort to build the airport, which will have an estimated cost of over 100 billion Chinese yuan. With plans for the airport to have four runways and three terminals when fully completed, it is estimated that the capacity will be around 40 million per year. However, being an offshore development, it has drawn some environmental concerns for habitats of white dolphins and the location was next to a coral reef reserve forcing a delay which set back the development of the airport and plans for trial flights by 2020. 
The new airport in Sanya is expected to be one of the two hubs for the new Sanya-based airline, which the Chinese central government does hope that it will become part of a much larger success of the island as a travel and economic hub of not just China but also throughout Asia. Interestingly enough, the plans to develop the island has been reported to emulate the success of both Hong Kong and Singapore, both major economic and aviation hubs in Asia. The new developments has caused some discussion in Hong Kong as to the role of Hong Kong in modern day China as well as the China of tomorrow. Though this will depend heavily on the politics going on in Hong Kong and how foreign businesses see the current shape of Hong Kong as it is right now and in the future. China's impact on the global aviation industry cannot be understated with predictions that it will become the largest aviation market in the 2030s and the growing number of outbound travelers. Yet domestic travel remains a key force of China's economy with a reported 5.5 billion trips reported in 2018. The Chinese domestic travel market is expected to be the key force of recovery for the Chinese economy following the recent developments of the COVID-19 global pandemic and Hainan Island is making its moves to capitalize on those opportunities. I definitely hope you enjoyed this video and if you really did like this video and this concept of introducing destinations whether emerging or developed which are seeing developments in their aviation industries and infrastructure I definitely would love to hear your take on it and I probably might do a video based on any suggestions. In the meantime, thank you for watching. This has been Flights in Asia. Thank you for watching again. Have a great day.